are gods, we are kings We march in faith cause we believe we can Change the world to what it needs Stand against our enemies cause we can We are kings demanding change Cause we believe we can What is a trumpet for? Who can answer that? A trumpet is to give you warning from something well, guess what? We're showing you in the Bible to give you warning for the destruction to come. Right. So we have to teach you who you truly are according to the Bible. That's and right. And how can you be saved in that day? All right? Let's go to Deuteronomy. What you got? Isaiah 58 1. Read this. Isaiah uh, chapter 58 verse 1. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. What the Bible say? Cry aloud. So the Bible commands the prophets to cry aloud. Go ahead. Spare not. The Bible says spare not. Meaning don't spare your people's feelings. Why? Because your people still going to feel comfortable in their sins. Go ahead. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And the Bible commands the prophets to lift up your voice like a trumpet. My brother right here, is a trumpet loud or is it not loud? It's loud, right? right? So the Bible commands us to teach loudly. Right. That's why we're speaking loud. Go ahead. And show my people. And show what? My people. The Bible says, speak loud and show God's people. Right. My brother right here. Who is God's people today? Who is God's people? You know, do you know who God's people is? That's right. But who are they today? If you can point at an Israelite, who who, who is that today? You and I. That's right. You and I. Right. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. right. And for those of you who don't know, we're going to show you that we are the children of Israel according to the Bible. All right? Listen right. good, sis. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse, matter of fact, 1 and 1. We're going to show you that our history is in the Holy Bible. Right. Okay, read that. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Read it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So the book of Deuteronomy is written to the children of Israel. That's right. All right. Now let's go to chapter 28, same book, in verse 15. Let's see what Moses spoke unto the children of Israel. Remember, we've proven who the children of Israel is today in 2019. Teach. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Right. Right. But it shall come to pass uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So the Bible says it shall come to pass, meaning in the future, if you will not listen to the voice of God, which is the Bible, right? to observe to do. All his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So God says, if you do not listen, if you Israelites do not listen to my commandments this day, what's going to happen? That all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these what? All these curses. What? Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So That's God right. says, if the Israelites do not listen to his commandments, Curses was going to come upon them. Right. Let's see some of the curses that happened to the children of Israel. Verse 32. Watch this. Verse 32. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Bring it out. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. Who that happened to? Whose sons and daughters was taken and given to another race of people? Bring it out. Who that happened to? That happened to us, right? That happened to us in slavery. 
But guess what? What are we reading? We're reading the Bible. This is our history recorded in the Bible. <laughs> Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 32. Bring it up. Thy sons and thy daughters uh -huh. shall be given unto another people. So God says your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. And the only and you couldn't get your kids back once they was taken from you in slavery. When you, if you come around and look on these signs, you will see our sons and daughters being taken and given to another people. You should come around and look at the signs. All right? Get on verse 48. And the only thing we could do in slavery was watch our kids get taken away from us. Right. Okay? Read on. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Bring it out. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee. So God sent our enemies against us. A lot of people don't know why the so-called white man came against us and put us in slavery. The reason is because we broke God's commandments. Right. So we are God's people and the punishment for breaking his commandments is slavery. Right. right. Read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Right. 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 Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall sin against thee. So God says we're going to have to serve our enemies, which he sent against us. Why? Because we broke his commandments. Right? In hunger. So we're going to have to serve our enemies, the so-called white man, in hunger. Right? And in thirst. And in thirst. If you want something to drink, you have to go to your enemies, right? Like, for example, all these stores around here, the gas stations, they're not owned by people, right? Right. So we have to go to them for a soda, for some water or something like that, right? See? Right? And in nakedness. In clothing, like you, your hat, right? Your, your people don't own that hat. So we have to go to our enemies for that. Go ahead. And in want of all things. Anything we want, we have to go to our enemies for it. But watch this. What's your name? Melvin. Melvin, watch this. This gonna, this also gonna prove that we are the children of Israel. Bring it on. Read that next part. And he and your enemies, the so-called white man, shall do what to the Israelites? Shall put a yoke of iron uh -huh. upon thy neck. Hold on, what he shall do? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. One more time. Shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Uh -huh. Until he have destroyed thee. Melvin, who did that happen to? Bring it out. That happened to the black man, right? So remember who God said he was speaking to. Who was Moses speaking to? The Israelites. The Israelites. Right. Right. Like Israelites right. 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 So this proves that we are those people. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. right. We was the ones that had yokes of iron on their neck. Right. But God prophesied that that was going to happen to the Israelites. We are the Israelites according to the Bible. Right. right. Read on. Oh, verse, verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Go ahead. Go. And the Lord shall bring thee uh -huh. into Egypt again. So God says he's going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again. Egypt is a Greek word that means bondage, right. or slavery. So God says what? Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. So God prophesied in the Bible he was going to bring the children of Israel into slavery on ships. This right here. Say it. Go ahead, read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So God prophesied that the children of Israel will go into slavery on ships. Who did that happen to? That happened to our people. We right. the ones that was on them slave, some, them slave uh, ports in Charleston, South Carolina, being taken off them boats. Read all. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see it no more again. So Moses said, by the way he speak it, that's exactly how it's going to happen. Right. We went on slavery on slave ships, and we're not going to see our homeland, Jerusalem, no more again. See. Read all. And there, and there, when she get off the slave ship, what? He shall be sold unto your enemy. He shall be what? Sold unto your enemy. Weren't we sold once we got off the slave ships? Yes, 
This is our history in the Bible. That's, That's right. right. Read on. For bond men. For slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. And nobody's going to be able to save us from getting put on our slave ship. Right. For being sold to our enemies. For having yokes of iron on our neck. For our sons and daughters being taken and given to another people. Nobody's going to save us out that condition. Right. For example, didn't Martin Luther King try to save us? Did Malcolm X try to save us? Yeah. But they failed, right? Yeah. The reason why they failed is because they didn't have one thing. What do you think that is? Unity out of the Bring people to follow them, out of the right people to follow them. Now, they had unity, yeah. but it's something that was missing. That was God's laws. Right. They didn't have, if you, when you keep God's laws, you have God protecting you. They killed Malcolm X, they killed Martin Luther King. Why? Because they weren't keeping God's laws. You understand that? God's laws are supposed to protect us. And the reason why we went into slavery is because we broke God's commandments. Right. But the only way to get out of slavery is how? Melvin, how we get out of slavery? How out of this condition that we're living in? Work together. Work together and what we have to do? We Working have to together. Serve God. Huh? Serve God. Serve God? How do you do that? Do the under 10. Committing yourself to God. Alright, let, let's see how you serve God, alright? Deuteronomy like chapter that. 10 and verse 12. This is how you serve God. Go ahead. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? So the Bible says, what do God require of us as his people, the children of Israel? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul. So now the Bible is about to get real specific on how to serve God. Cause you said the only way for us to get out of this situation is to serve God, right? Well, this is what we have to do. Read on. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? Keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? Keep the commandments of the Lord. That's how you serve God. Right. right. By keeping God's commandments. Right. That's how we're going to get out of the situation that we're in right now. Right. That's how we're going to get out for being on the lowest parts in Charleston, South Carolina. Right. right. I'm from Section 8, where I fell. By keeping God's commandments. Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. And when we keep God's commandments, it's for our good. Right. We got churches on every block teaching that we don't got to keep God's commandments. We don't. But God says, keeping his commandments, that's for your good. Right. So the, te the churches are teaching us falsely. We have to keep God's commandments right. in order to get out of this situation. Bring it out. All right. Read that. Proverbs chapter 7 and verse 2. Bring it out. Keep my commandments and live. Hold on, what the Bible say? Keep my commandments and live. So how are you going to live if you're not keeping God's commandments? Bring it out. Somebody tell me that. This is a course. How are you going to live? So sis, how can we live if we're not keeping God's commandments? For, for example, right? We got a lot of games around here, right? Like one of the games, never heard of a cowboy game? They, and don't they kill each other? All that, right? But that equals death. Gangs equal death, right? But if those cowboy gang members, if they keep God's commandments, it's gonna bring them life. Right. Wanna know how? Watch this. Go to Exodus chapter 12. Then thou shalt not kill. Watch this, says. It's the Ten Commandments, right? Watch this, watch this. This is how. This is how us as a race of people are going to live. What? Right. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 13. Bring it out. One of the Ten Commandments. Read. Thou shalt not kill. All right. Thou shalt not kill. So sit. If you think all those gang members, the cowboy gang, right? If they keep God's commandments of thou shalt not kill, don't you think they're going to have life? They, they are, right? Because they're going to apply that law and not kill each other. Right. So life is going to come from keeping God's commandments. That's, right. That's one way. All right? Read on. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So the Bible says, thou shalt not hate 
thy brother in thine heart. Right. A lot of these gangs, they hate each other. Why? Over a color? Over a what street they're repping? Or what street they own? Bring it out. That's why they hate each other. It's over foolish things. All right, but read that again. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Bring it out. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. So the Bible says, don't hate your brother in your heart. Go ahead. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So how do you rebuke your neighbor? How do you rebuke your neighbor? That means you correct your neighbor when they're doing something wrong. Right. And what do you correct them by? Go ahead. And not suffer sin upon him. And you don't allow them to fall into sin. Right. So following gangs, in order to correct each other, you shouldn't. Oh, uh, somebody uh, killed my brother last week. I got to go back and seek vengeance. That's not how you correct your brother or being in gangs. Right. How you correct each other is, look, hey, bro, you don't need to join that gang. That gang is going to lead to death. Right. Help. Read. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. So the Bible says you're not supposed to bear any grudge against the children of thy people, meaning your own people. So everybody in these gangs, whenever they got uh, uh, a lick they got to go do, or go shoot up another gang or something like that. Bring it out. That's showing hatred and they're bearing a grudge. Right. A matter of fact, a grudge that don't even got nothing to do with them. They was raised up in those gangs and now they're carrying out grudges from the older people. Right. Read. Matter of fact, give me Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. Bring it out. Let's see if God talks about gangs in the Bible. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. So the Bible says, if sinners entice thee, consent thou not. So if somebody telling you to go and break God's laws, the Bible says, don't follow that. So if, the, so if somebody telling you to follow a gang, the Bible says, don't follow that way. Why? Because of sin. Right. Right? If they say, Come with us. Let us lay wait for blood. Hold on, what about what they say? What a gang say? Come with us. Let us wait for blood. So the gang members say, come with us, join our gang, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna go shoot up these bloods. We're gonna go shoot up these crips, these out. folks, these cowboys. That's what they do. Read. Let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. So they wait till night. They're going to sneak up on another gang member or another set and go kill them at night. Lurk hey. Go ahead. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave. So, uh-huh. And hold as those that go down into the pit. So let's kill them. Go ahead. We shall buy all precious substance. Uh -huh. We shall fill our houses with spoil. So that's what a lot of gang members do also. They go and rob each other or rob other people. Matter of fact, hold this, get Isaiah 3 and 12. They, they're the ones in the communities robbing people. They're the ones in the communities oppressing y'all. But y'all have to stand up against these gangs. How you do that? By keeping God's commandments. Right. Join it together. Read. Yeah, read that. Isaiah 3 and 12. Isaiah chapter 3 and verse 12. Bring it out. As for my people, as for God's people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, because y'all are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. right. That's what God's people. But what God say about you, go ahead. As for my people, children are their oppressors. So children are our oppressors. Right. Get out. Who can answer that? How are children oppressing us? Get out. Do y'all know? How are children oppressing us? Bring it up. The children are oppressing us because those are the children that's in those gangs shooting up everything. Those are the children that's in those gangs robbing each other, right. robbing the people in the community. Bring that's how they're oppressing us. The, the so-called white men, other nations don't really gotta do nothing. Y'all oppress yourselves. Right. Right? 
and women rule over them. And what? Women rule over them. And what that means is you got single parent mothers that's trying to raise up these young boys to be men. But the, but the women, majority of the times, they can't raise up a man. Right. So Get these out. kids, they join these gangs looking for father figures. Bring it out. That's how they join these gangs. But those father figures in these gangs are teaching them to rob the community. Right. All right, read on. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. So the women which lead these young boys cause them to err. These gang members that's leading these other people in the gang, they causing them to err by breaking God's commandments. Right. Now go back. Go back to Proverbs. Watch this. Proverbs chapter 1. I think it was that verse 12 or something like that. All right? So these gang members are oppressing us. Our own people are oppressing us. We got to wake up and we got to repent and keep God's commandments. Right. Verse 14. Pass in thy lot among us. Let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in the way with them. So God says, do not walk in the ways of these gang members. Do not walk in the ways of other people who are breaking God's commandments. Right. Why? Because it's going to lead you to death. It's going to lead you to death. Read. Refrain thy foot from their path. Uh, refrain thy foot from their path. Don't follow them, but For their feet run to evil. So the Bible says that feet run to evil. Whenever it's something popping off, what do they do? What do the gang members do when something popping off? They call their other boys up to come and try to settle a matter. Right. Yeah. By shooting each other, having shootouts and stuff like that. Read. For their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. And they do what? Make haste to shed blood. And they make haste to shed blood, to kill each other. Watch this, watch this part though. Surely in vain. The net is spread in the sight of any bird, uh -huh. and they lay wait for their own blood. So the Bible says those gang members, they lay wait for their own blood. Does that mean they kill their own selves? Yes. You want to know how? Because they're killing their own people Dude. that look just like them. Check it out. That's how they're killing themselves. And guess what? It's not only the gangs. It's those of you who sell drugs to each other. Y'all killing each other too. Three. They look privily for their own lives. So are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain, which talk away the life of the owners thereof. Ah, so read on. Verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. But guess what? Even though these gangs are pressing us and y'all feel the effects of it, guess what? The Bible says wisdom crieth without. Read that one more time. Wisdom crieth without. She uttered her voice in the streets. So get the Bible says, wisdom uttereth her voice in the streets. How does that look? You got all these, these brothers in purple and gold with the Bible uttering wisdom out of their mouths. Right. That's how wisdom uttereth in the streets. We're trying to show you wisdom according to the Bible. That's right. Read on. She cried in the chief places of concourse. Uh -huh. So she cried in the chief place of concourse. That means that's where everybody, all the action going on. All the buses, the cars, the people. Read on. She cried in the chief place of concourse. In the opening of the gate, in the city she uttered her words saying. So this is what wisdom is saying to you so-called blacks. Hispanics and Native American Indians. Bring it out. How long, ye simple ones? So the Bible says, how long, ye simple ones? Because our people are simple. Right. For example, right. you got down here, down the church, you got churches on every block, but none of them is teaching y'all how to get out of the situations y'all in. Our people are simple. You know how else our people are simple? Because y'all still paying tithes. Y'all still breaking all God's laws. Right. But y'all say y'all want to get to the kingdom of heaven. The only way you get them is keeping God's commandments. Right. Read. 
How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? So God says, how long are y'all gonna be simple? Read. And the scorners delight in their scorning. And scorners delight in their scorning. Cause you have some people who actually come up against the Bible. Whenever we teach the God's commandments. You have some people who hate God's commandments. Right. But guess what? God calls them scorners. Watch this. And fools hate knowledge. And God said fools hate knowledge. So guess what? You would be a fool to stop, to not stop and hear what's coming out this Bible. Right. You will be considered a fool. Right? Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you, and I will make known my words unto you. So God says he's going to make known his words unto y'all. Right. That's what he's doing right now. Get out. All right. What you got? Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 20. Bring it out. And do the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. So God says, even though he gives you the bread of affliction and the water of adversity, guess what? That means even though you're going through what you're going through today, all the uh, oppression from the other nations, your own people, the poverty, even though you're going through all that, what? Yet! Shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore? So God says your true pastors are not going to be in the pulpits no more. Right. Behind, behind the pulpit, singing and dancing and cooning. God says you're going to see your teachers. Right. Mm -hmm. But thine eyes shall see thy teachers, and thine ears shall hear a word behind thee saying. So God says when you go into and fro, you're going to hear a word behind you saying, sisters in the car. This is the way, walk ye in it. This is the way, walk ye in it. Keep God's commandments. Don't break the Sabbath day. Matter of fact, let me ask you a question. When is the Sabbath day? Sister right here, with the uh, woolly hair, scratchy hair. What is the Sabbath day according to the Bible? Get out. Do you know what the Sabbath day is? Who knows what the Sabbath day is? The Sabbath day is the holy day of God where we're supposed to worship Him. Right. Okay? Is it the seventh day of the week? We're going to find out. Read this. Keep going. This is the way, walk ye in it, when ye turn to the right hand and when you turn to the left. So when you're going to the right hand, down the street this way, or if you're going down the street this way, God says turn to listen to His words. Right. That's coming out in the Bible. Right. A lot of y'all might not know exactly what we're reading, but we're reading the Holy Bible. Exodus 20 and 8. Let's see what the Sabbath day is. Watch this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Bring it out. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So God says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Why do you have to say remember? Because y'all forgot it and y'all think it's on Sunday. But let's see what the Bible say when the Sabbath day is and how to keep it holy. What? Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So God says, six days shall you labor and do all your work. When is the first day of the week? When is the first day of the week? The first day of the week is Sunday. Sister right here in the green shirt. When is the Sabbath day? The Sabbath day is the it's the seventh day of the week. We're going to show you. All right, so six days shall you labor and do all your work. That's Sunday to Friday. Go ahead. But the seventh day. But the seventh day, which is Saturday. Read. Is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Not Sunday. Not the first day of the week. It's the seventh day, which is the Sabbath. Right. Saturday. Go ahead. In it. Thou shalt not do any work. So in the Sabbath day, which is today, you shall not do any work. Right. That means you're not supposed to be working at Church's Chicken, this Jamaican restaurant. Anywhere there are people work, we're not supposed to be working on this day. Right. It's a day of rest. Right. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gate. 
For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is in them is and rested the seventh day. So because God, he created the earth and everything in six days, and on the seventh day he rested. So he gave us the Sabbath day to rest also, which is the set Saturday according to the Bible. All right, go to Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. Bring it out. Watch this, this, this is how also we're supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy. All right, Nehemiah chapter 10 verse 31. Nehemiah chapter 10 and verse 31. Bring it out. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell. So the Bible says, if anybody bring things on the Sabbath day to sell, like for example, church's chicken, they sell their food on the Sabbath day. This, uh, this uh, store right here is selling alcohol, it's selling drinks, food. That is breaking the Sabbath day. That's selling, bringing wares on the Sabbath day. All right, go ahead. And if the people of the land bring wear or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath. So the Bible says we're not supposed to buy on the Sabbath day. Right. We're not supposed to sell on the Sabbath day. So since today is the Sabbath day according to the Bible, and God says we are not supposed to buy or sell anything on this day. Right. That's breaking God's commandment. And we can't get life for breaking God's Sabbath day. All right, give me um, Exodus. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. Let's see how else we're supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy, okay? So we already got, you're not supposed to work on the Sabbath day, and you're not supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath day. So for those of you who go in the, in the store, buying stuff, that's breaking God's Sabbath. All right. What? Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. Bring it out. And he said unto them, This is that which the Lord had said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. So today at this time, it was Friday. And, God, and Moses said, Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath, which is Saturday. Go ahead. Bake that which you will bake today. And see that which you will see. So Moses told the Israelites, that's, that's who y'all are, to not, to bake and boil everything on Friday, go ahead. And that which remained over, lay up for you to be kept until the morning. And whatever you have left over of what you're cooking, lay up until the morning, which will be the Sabbath day, go ahead. And they laid it up till the morning as Moses bade, and did not stink, and it did not stink, Neither was there any worms therein. So, so God is commanding us to cook on Friday, and that way we don't have to cook on the Sabbath day. Right. So that means there is no cooking allowed on the Sabbath day. So according to the Bible, on God's holy day, the Sabbath day, we're not supposed to work, we're not supposed to buy, we're not supposed to sell and cook on the God's Sabbath day. Okay? Read, is that it? Right. So that's how we keep God's commandments, the Sabbath day, all right? Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels.
stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.